Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of my Fortune Street playthrough. I apologise for the no video yesterday, I had a very busy day that I didn't realise it was going to be, as I wasn't informed until literally the day that I woke up. And I was basically out from 10 in the morning all the way till 7 at night, so I wasn't able to record yesterday. So, with that out of the way, I'm going to be doing the Aleph Guard board from Itadiki Street Special which is roughly the same as the other version of Aleph Guard, but it has some major noticeable differences, which I'll explain when it is my turn. And the music, of course, is slightly different as well. I know roughly how this board works. I played it with my friend. I think he ended up winning that match. And I'm going first, which is actually really good, as you don't want to be last on this board. Anyways, this is Dragon Lord's board, so of course I had to bring him back. And then Toad, who has been cheating numerous times throughout this playthrough, I brought back, as well as Kirill. Okay, so for starters, this island district is significantly better than the last one, as it has a change of suit square on it this time, meaning if you get stuck here, you can still get suits. But you've got the main two suits, or two of the suits on this part of the board here, where you have the heart and the spade. You've got a change of suit square here, and this is why going first is a major advantage. You roll higher than a four, as long as you don't roll a seven, you can go get a spade and therefore cut yourself a huge amount of time. Or if you're second, you can get the heart, and again save yourself some time. The right side of the board, in my opinion, is much better, as it is very difficult to avoid all of these districts, whereas the rest of these here can easily be skipped, as you can just keep circling this section the whole game. So, it is what it is. I'm going to try and go right if I can, but I rolled a 1, so I'm not going to, I'm not going that way if I roll a 1, because I want a property. So, unlucky for me, I have to go the long way around. And this is going to be a long round, I reckon, because the target is 25,000. Already we've got to deal with a tax office. Not good. Problem is the pink district is mostly useless as well. And Dragon Lord's going the same way as me. Not good either. I might have to uh, loop back around and see if I can avoid the, the heart altogether. And Toad is going this way as well for some reason. Weird. I'm going to go this way so I avoid his property and can potentially pick up another one in the pink district. But I would like to head to the right side of the board as quickly as I can. Because I don't really want to have to deal with a load of shops I don't own over there. And I reckon Dragon Lord will do the same thing as me and try to head up to the right to get the suit. Nope, he's actually going down. The change of suit square is basically a huge gamble, because you could easily miss the suit that you need, and therefore have to take longer. And I don't really want to have to uh, go to the left side of the board constantly, considering it is marginally weaker than the other one. Okay, I'm going to hope that Kirill does not go in the warp and I can go get the heart. I've also got to be careful because if Dragon Lord and Toad roll high, they might steal the heart from me, and I'll have to therefore go the long way around the board again. But my friend and I both had a district on the right side of the board, and basically blocked the other two computer players from going that way, so they weren't ever able to promote for most of the game, and we were just ho hoping we avoided each other's sections, and we pretty much just traded money back and forth. But my friend ended up winning because he had a second district on the left side of the board. So everyone went to his rather than mine. And because my only district was the one at the bottom next to the club and the warp. I pretty much got no sales. Only from him. Although I did get a really big sale from one of the computers at the beginning of the game when they were actually going for suits. Okay. 
Okay. Landing on the bank is fine. I'm going to buy District F just because I have two shops there and could potentially get a profit. Right, I'm hoping that Kirill rolls an 8 or a 7 so he gets the, the spade. Damn, he rolled one too low, so I need a very low number this turn. Otherwise, I'm probably going to uh, have a problem. Yeah, I'm hoping that this recording won't take too long because there's a test thing that I want to do for a different game today, so hopefully I can finish this up fairly quick. Kind of annoying that I have to do this board today rather than the one that I would be doing today if I didn't, if I wasn't busy tomorrow, but it, it's fine. And I rolled too big as I expected. But it's fine, I can skip Kirill's tax office at least. And yeah, Toad I reckon will steal the suit, or Dragon Lord will, one of them will. Oh wow, someone's actually landing on... That 46 is the only good property in that whole district. To the point where I would just max that one out rather than the cheaper one. And Kirill doesn't have to get the spade, which is what I usually did on this board. And I would really like to get the heart before someone else, so I don't have to deal with that. <laughs> Because a 180 early game, or 177 rather early game, is not going to be fun to deal with. In fact, uh, Toad is missing the spade for some reason, and then blocking my district. Uh, good luck with that, Toad. I've got two there already, and I plan on investing in both of them. Well, I didn't get a property, but I didn't pay anyone at least. Yeah, I reckon Toad is going to steal my suit, which is going to be annoying. Kirill already had the spade, so I was confused why he didn't get a property, but there's no point in him going that way. Or well, Dragon Lord will steal the suit from me. One of them is going to, because they're just going to get there first. Because I needed Kirill to roll one higher than he did. In typical me form. Alright, Toad, can you please go left? He's going to steal the suit, isn't he? Oh, he didn't. Okay. That one you might get control of, Toad, but definitely not the other one that you said you would. Okay. I'll take it. It's a property. Just hope. I mean, Dragon might go back left, actually, to see if he can get more shots. Yeah, I've got another one. Oh, well, that one's a bit of a waste. A bit tired today, if I'm being honest, so I probably won't sound as enthusiastic. <laughs> recording this. But yesterday was a very long, boring day of going shopping. Oh, I need Toad to be slower than me so that he doesn't get the suit. Okay, well that district's dead. Free heart or roll again? Gum drops too early. It's not gonna do anything. Yeah, my rolls are a bit low now, which is a problem. I need a big number to beat Toad over there. And Dragon Lord could obviously nick it as well, and I really don't want anyone to steal that heart. Because I took a big risk going that way. Hoping that I would uh get some properties on the right side of the board. And Kirill could nick the heart as well, because he would obviously like to get that as well, so he doesn't have to go down to the bottom of the board again. If I go on the island, actually, that won't be too big of a deal. Okay, Dragon Lord is going for faster promotion, which is a bit of a problem for me. I can't even reach it. Even if I roll an 8, I can't reach it. These gumdrops went the other way, so he can't steal the heart either. 
Damn it, Toad, that's too big. You need to roll lower. And you need to not steal my money as well. I didn't give you consent. Okay. Yeah, the odds are someone's gonna steal that heart from me, which is annoying. I haven't rolled a good number for a while. Well, that one wasn't bad, because at least I got a property, but I, I really would like to get that heart before someone else. Well, and that district's gone as well. Not that it matters, that one's kind of washed. Well, that, that 46 isn't. That's the only decent property in that whole district, I would say. Right, I'm calling it now. Toad's going to roll an 8. Or a 7. Okay, I have to roll a big number this turn. If I don't, there's no way I get that heart. I need a 7 or an 8, or at least a 6. Yes, thank you. Oh, that was worrying. I was very nervous I wasn't getting that then. Oh cool, it's the only district I have stock in. That's very nice indeed. And this means that Toad has to go the long way. Well, he had to anyways, because he decided to skip the spade for some reason. Surprised he went that way. He could have got two in the purple district. I was able to just narrowly beat him to that, otherwise my promotion would have been horrendously delayed. And I would have had to go to the part of the board I don't want to go to. Okay, I closed my shops that no one is probably going to let well. There's a 14 that they could land on, but no big deal. The gumdrops is going the wrong way anyways. Oh, he's just going to go there and disappear, because why would you go over there? There's no properties anyone owns over there. Gumdrops is supposed to land on the, or go to the most expensive shops on the board, and try to land on them, oh, typical. Always when my shops are closed, huh? because he's probably going to head left anyways. Right, I'm going to get a promotion, just stick more stock in the same district. I'm actually going to go to the island as well because I can go get the spade on there. That's a really good promotion as well for level 1. Oh, in fact, Gumdrops could actually help me out big time. If he goes and gets rid of the spade, I could go get the heart, which would be the much worse suit for me to get at the moment. So I'm actually hoping he gets rid of that spade and turns it into a heart. He did, thank you. It's very kind of you, Gumdrops. That sorts out my problem straight away, unless someone gets a warp card and decides to take it from me for no reason. Kirill got all the vacant lots, are you serious? There was one on the island, but... And yeah, even if I roll a free, I'm just going to leave the island straight away, because then I can go to the other side of the board and get the, uh... 
I can just go to the right side of the board and get the club and the, the diamond straight away. Oh, apparently I'm winning. I don't know how, but apparently I am. Okay. Toad as an... Toad could get that red district as well. That was the one Dragon Lord got when I played with a friend. Okay, go this way. Okay, well, I leave regardless. I'm gonna grab the heart, obviously. And then I can just go get the spade. Okay, makes sense. That, that makes sense for me to do that. Obviously gonna go left regardless of what I roll, even if it's a four, because there's no reason for me to go the other way. Dragon Lord's going over there. But when no one owns the properties over there, it's not a problem. I don't even have stock. Probably does, because he went past the bank. Oh, right, he has two in a district. I didn't even realise. He literally made no money doing that. That's funny. Oh, yeah, I'm taking that. I don't want anyone getting that district, because that one's very tricky to avoid late game. And yeah, I'll sell all my stock and just rebuy it back. Especially because the odds are I'm going to pick up another property unless Toad gets all of them. Or I guess Kirill could as well, technically. That 46 is really popular. And the second I invest in it, no one's going to land on it, I'm calling it. That's usually my issue with this game, is whenever I invest in a property, just everyone starts avoiding it the whole game. What's he going to build? Wow, that is genuinely the worst, or second worst thing you could have built there. A circus tent on an island, what is the point? In fact, that's probably worse than the estate agency, because you've got a high chance of landing on the estate agency, so you could actually, you know, buy a property from landing on it. But again, why just not build a balloon? Okay, I had to mute temporarily because a uh, parent went upstairs and didn't want that to be picked up on the recording. Um, the reason I went up, even though I could have gone the other way, Dragon Lord is just going to go get that spade. There's no point in me going for that. Okay, 46 again. I've been rolling a couple of bad numbers, and annoyingly the computers have beaten me to most of the properties up here now. My mic stopped falling down. That 46, though, has been very useful so far. He's investing in himself, okay. The easiest district on the board to avoid, but it's fine. 
I like that Toad hasn't even got a promotion yet, and he's 500. What he started above is kind of mad. Okay, unfortunately, I just sold my stock, so I will not be investing. Do I go steal the heart from someone else though? Because the problem is, if I don't steal that, someone else is just going to get it and therefore get an easier time getting a promotion. So I think I will steal the heart if I can, unless I have to pay Toad a lot, because I'd rather buy a property than pay Toad 154. Oh, someone landed on the other one. Okay, that's nice. Because that 61 is barely going to get landed on the whole game, especially when I invest in it. Of 1A. Eh? District F again, because it's the only place I have two in a district. No, I played a troll board with my friend last night, actually, and I got pretty lucky on it, because everyone got a messed over by the mechanic of the board, except for me. It was the Castaway Bay board, based off Mario Party 6, and basically the gimmick on that board is it swaps the club with a, a fur the equivalent of landing, or the equivalent of getting card 13. So, you don't- you can't get a promotion. Please don't get Lucky 7s. No! Why? It's a thousand gold as well, and it's the beginning of the game. Great. Exactly what we don't need. Dragon Lord getting a huge head start. He's just going to be able to buy out a whole district now and get a district at the start of the game. Why does Dragon Ball need that? Okay, well I'm grabbing this, just so Toad doesn't get it without buying it out. If Toad gets the heart, oh well, I've already got one. I need to get more properties, though. I don't really have that much. Okay, well, Toad has to go the long way around, because he rolled a bad number. Well, kind of, he got two in that district, which isn't terrible, I would say. And even though I don't need the heart, I can steal it. Well, oh, typical, I land on the board. No, that would be all my money. <laughs> oh, that's actually really good. Oh, he wouldn't have been able to get it if I didn't land on his balloon, but I'd rather Kirill got that than Dragon Lord, because now that means Kirill will put stock in there, making it way more tedious for Dragon Lord. And Kirill will start investing in the district as well, making it, again, much harder for Dragon Lord to uh, buy the properties out, because we really don't need Dragon Lord getting a district. He'll get District C instead, though. He's got... Well... That's not good. Kirill's not going to run out of money now. Why does he even have stock there? Did he win it from something, or did he genuinely buy it there? No. Oh. Everything's expensive. I didn't really want to get this card, but oh well. Okay, I can't get any more properties, the game's not allowing it, and I'm also not allowed to invest. 
my two least favourite things. Getting no properties, not being able to invest at a time where you drastically need to. Because I'd rather make that 46 more annoying for my opposition. Especially Kirill, who could have to sell a property and he has a lot of shops on the board that I want. Like, to name a few, the tax office, the balloon port, the... The one one space in front of me. All those properties would be very beneficial to me if I could pick them up. Cool, I got two in a district, but this district sucks. Could do a trade with Toad, actually. See if I can steal his more expensive shot. Three. <laughs> Worth three coins for landing on that. What a terrible shot. Grill has 38 gold left to his name, but he has a lot of properties that everyone can land on. Does Dragon Lord even have a shop on this site? He doesn't. He's got a massive blind spot then, where he has no shops, unless he picks some up on this go around, of course. That shop is worth three gold, that is absolutely terrible. Might have to trade Toad, actually. But Toad doesn't like to do fair trades, so... Okay. Okay, I'll take that. That makes another shop that will make Kirill in a bad position. Yeah, no one's gonna land on this now that I've invested in it, as usual. Oh, he did land on it. Never mind. Perfect. I will be bidding on regardless of what he sells because I need properties. Wait, that one? That's a mistake. He has to sell another one. What? You, you, you have three there. You're a C rank, Kirill. You're better than this. Well, now I've got to outbid Dragon Lord. I got to outbid Dragon Lord on that bottom. That was a stupid mistake from Kirill. That was. He had three shots in a district there. Why would you sell that? And he broke up another district of two he had. I mean, I'm not complaining about that one. It gives me another district to work with. But this one was dumb. Oh yeah, and I'm making him pay a lot for this one. If I win it, then so be it. I'll do one more. Yeah, I didn't think he would want to pay more than five times. I paid more than five times, but I, I'd rather stop Dragon Ball getting that. He will buy it out anyways, but I can invest on there. And I don't think I can land on any of my shops at the moment. But Kirill, that was incredibly stupid. Toad has to get rid of a shop as well. Can you guys stop giving Dragon Lord free in a district? Like, oh my goodness. You guys are actually being stupid with your shop auctions. Another one I've got to pay f over five times its value for, because I'm not letting him get free in a district that easily. Like, 
Why would you sell that one? Again, you have another district where we only have one property each in it. Or you could have sold the one in District E. Why that one? These computers are stupid. And then of course I'm going to have to be the one blocking Dragon Lord because Toad ain't outbidding him and neither is Kirill with his no money. Look at that, I have 500 left. Thankfully I'm getting a promotion, but seriously, what were they cooking? Just dumb properties to sell across the board. Now I've got to protect both of those shops, starting with the one at the bottom. And now I'm not going to trade the District S shop for Toad. If I was going to trade, I was going to trade the 80 something he had in the other district. Because. Well, those other two shops I have there are just completely rubbish. And speaking of rubbish, my dice rolls. Terrible. And I put myself so far behind now to try and uh, stop Dragon Lord. Because uh, I'm not a fan of him getting that lucky seven, honestly, because he wouldn't have been able to bid anywhere near as much as he did. Or something. Because I'm very poor right now, if it is not obvious. Oh, he's calling me Dim, because I blocked him in his district. And the sad thing is, if he buys it out, I only get three times, so I make a huge lot. Toad, I needed you not to auction that District C shop that uh, gave Dragon Lord a very easy way of getting free. Okay, I like this. Landing on the bank is very useful. I could go get the spade and, well, heart would be a bit more rough to get. Okay, we're going to District H because, yeah, got two over there. And that's a very difficult section of the board to avoid. Okay, please don't be stupid and break up your District of Two at the bottom. Okay. That gives Toad a chance to get free, but I'd rather him getting free than Dragon Lord. But we don't need Dragon Lord being any more of an issue right now. Especially because he's just going to invest a lot in there soon. buying a property, because he, yeah. He bought a weird number of stock. Six. Could go that way. Mm. That's out of the question. Um, I think I go get the diamond, honestly. And I get a half price. If only I got that card in real life yesterday. <laughs> Man, I would have saved so much if I got that card in real life yesterday. Because uh, I bought a car. Which is uh, very exciting. Where did I buy stock again? Oh, right, this one. Yeah, I, I really should protect the shops in Dragon Lord's districts, but I'd rather get some money first. Yeah, I bought my first car, thanks to a savings account that I had. Well, it wasn't mine, it was my late grandparents, who uh, put it in my name, which was very nice of him. Oh, people are still landing on this one, actually. And I was able to, therefore, buy a car, which will help with my uh, job, as I won't have to rely on the bus.
But at the start, I don't plan on making really large trips because I am a fairly rookie driver. I only passed my test in September of 2023, so about five months ago. But it's very exciting. Because I thought I wouldn't be getting a car for ages until I found out about that savings account. Oh, you can invest in the other one, can you not? Oh, thank you, game. I will gladly take that. That is now going to make it much, much harder for my opposition. I didn't even realise Corell had gone to the island. But, like, he got the worst suit on there, so... There's no point in getting the club on there, really, but someone has to get it. Oh, here we go. Okay, that's not as much as I thought it was, but if he does buy out my 16, which he absolutely, he's got so much in stock, he absolutely will be buying that, so I know it's a bit of a throw, but next time I'm going to just invest in that 16 rather than my district where I actually have stock, because I would rather make Dragon Lord not get a district of three, unlike a certain other player who decided to auction that shop for no reason, even though he had two other shops in the district at the time. Sadly, I didn't roll enough. Yeah, and then the issue is getting that heart is going to be an absolute nightmare for me because I basically need someone else to roll really low or I need to go to the island. It's the only way I'm going to really get that heart. I don't really want to ever go down there at the moment. Oh, of course. Just give him card 79. So there goes that 16. Had no chance there. J just of course. Dragon Lord gets card 79, so he can buy it out anyways. Okay, at least I got the same price that he would that I would have if he bought it out for five times. But he saves money, which is just annoying. Terrible role for me, regardless. I'll just land on the sleep square. I was gonna pay that 18, but... I'll just land on the sleep square. This time I have a chance of hitting the other warp as well, and I will be going over there if I do land on the warp. Worst case scenario is I miss out on 130-something. I'm still annoyed with Kirill for being an idiot and auctioning that shop because I had to spend way more than I needed to to get it off of Dragon Lord. Oh, let me guess, he's gonna buy this one out as well. Nope, surprisingly not. I for sure would have in his position. But I buy a lot of properties out, way more than most players do in this game. Because I like to uh, be a fret as quickly as I can and make an expensive section that uh, either D makes it harder for my opponent. Okay, cool, I'm going to the island, 100% doing that. So unless I get unlucky, I should at least get... Well, I'll turn it into a spade at the worst con- well, I'll turn it into a heart for next time. The just worst case scenario is if I roll a 2, because then I have to go up. Like a 1, I'd have to pay Dragon Lord, so I'll probably just go up as well. Okay, Dragon Lord's got a he well, not yet, he's got 
one shop over there, actually, but he's got to head to the blind part of all. The section where he doesn't have any shops, so he won't be able to invest once he gets over there for a short while. Toad, there's a change of suit square over there that you can easily grab. Not entirely sure why you're taking uh, the risk of going to uh, Dragon Lord's section. So I can get the 900, or I can leave. I'm getting the 900. And I'm just going to sell all my stock again, because, well, I won't be able to invest with that little. And I'm down to 900 cash in total again, which means that all my stuff is just in property. Let's just hope I can go get that heart, otherwise I'm going to be in a bad position. Unless I get the green warp, of course, or I get the... Or, or, not the orange one, the red one is not really an orange warp. Okay, I thought he got to invest then, so I got a bit worried. Ideally, I'd like to get the heart, though, on the island, just so I know that I'm getting it. my recording going? Okay, yes it is. I think I get the heart. Okay, excellent. And I'll gladly take free money, even if it's just a one, because it's better than nothing. Okay. It's still 50 gold that I wouldn't have got, so, and I prevent someone else from getting that card. Honestly, the blue warp would be the best one for me to land in, I feel, just because it's closest to the bank, and if I'm lucky, and Kirill decides to go up, I could go get the, uh, the heart again. Well, that's lucky for Toad. Unless he rolls a really low number, of course. In fact, he needs a high number. He needs a 7 or higher to skip that 800. So, if he rolls a 7, he lucks out big time. Wow, lucky you, Toad. That's very lucky. But I'm also kind of glad, because I don't need Dragon Lord getting a bigger lead. Oh, okay, I saved some money as well. Uh, no, that will basically put me out of the game if I buy that out at the moment. Oh, man. Of course he gets lucky and lands on his blue. He also took the heart away, so... Oh, well, again. Just hoping that someone will land on one of those three shops down there I have at the bottom, even if it's the 96. Just because I usually don't get money. Draglord's complaining that no one paid him. There's no sleep square on here, actually, so... But he's just going to roll an 8, because he's an S rank, and that's what they do. Okay. Oh, well, I leave, so that's cool. Who are we going to, though? That's the question. Kirill. I guess that's fine with me. Oh, I got confused. I was like, why is he going that way? But he has the, uh, the club, so no, that is the right decision. Typically skips all of mine. Oh, he would have landed on 136 if we went to his space instead. That's upsetting. I have no idea which way Toad's going to go. Up. 
soon as that happened, as soon as he would have had to go to the wharf, that was obvious. Okay, I'm just going to land on my own. Worst case scenario is I land on Kirill's attack office, and I'm absolutely going to be protecting that one here, because I don't want Dragon Lord getting another District of Three. Because it's going to be very difficult for him to get four in that bottom district, as he's going to have to basically buy it from Kirill. And then we're all just in a line. Okay, he's just going to go to the same square. Because that's the closest one to the bank. You literally went nowhere. Has this guy really been given the four times buyout as well? Are you actually kidding me? I don't know if he'll use it though. No, okay. Yay, one of the most aggressive computer players in the game, two of the good buyout cards. Or, in fact, you've got both of the good buyout cards, because the other one's the normal price. Okay, well, thank you for not making me land on that tax office. Oh no, 17 gold, I'm so sad. Dragon Lord's gonna land on my 100 instead. Oh, I'm fine with this. He needs to lose money. And I don't care who it goes to out of total Kirill, because neither of them have a District of Free to work with. Because uh, someone sold their District of Free that they used to have. Idea where Toad is going to invest. If I had to guess the top right district, yes. He's got to rely on getting that 180. If someone else gets that to him, Toad has not really got a chance winning. Although he does have a choke point now. You know, I have to pay him 165 or 195. Both of those are not really a shop anyone would want to land on. I'm going to put more stock in my District 3. That one's a bit too pricey to buy out at the moment. I'm going to go this way just because I skip more of the properties that I don't own. And I'm hoping I can get back to the right side of the board and go snag that heart. Because the longer I can avoid Dragon Lord's section at the bottom, the better. don't know if Dragon Lord's going to invest in his own or freeload off me, seeing as his capital is beginning to run out. Okay, never mind. Apparently that 138 is still very popular, even though I have invested in it. Which is probably the first time that I've invested in a shop and players still continue to land on it. But that is the only shop in the district in a good place, to be fair. I know I could have bought Kirill's out getting free, but I don't really want to at the moment. If I'm buying anything out, it's going to be his balloon. Or his tax office. Problem is, as well, with this board as a target is 25,000, so in other ways, we're just going to be here for ages. Okay, well, I know I really should protect this one because it's the cheapest, but I get a much bigger stock profit here, and I want to get some money before Dragon Lord runs out of investment capital so he can't freeload as well off me, because he will stock dive me if he invests in my district, I reckon. Oh, and I want to talk about one thing, actually, which is uh, just how these videos have been going. So, the main thing is... The reason why I did a lot better in the official game boards is because I've played those boards numerous times. So I'm way more experienced with them, if that makes sense. 
Whereas all these like ported over or custom boards, I've never played these before. So I don't know what the best districts are. I just have to guess the majority of the time. Like the only time I play them is to practice them in about 15 minute sessions because I don't want to start a game that goes on for too long. I just want to understand how the board works. Toad, mine was cheaper. No, I'm not buying this out. I have no reason to at the moment. I know it gets me free in a district, but then I'll just have to sell my stock in the other district, which I don't really want to do yet. When I've maxed all those out, I will think about doing it. Oh, Kirill's trying to beat me to the heart by the looks of it. Which means I might have to go the uh, more painful route. Oh yeah, it was really funny as well, another board that my friend and I played recently. Uh, Jessica was just being dumb the whole game. Because it was a mechanic where the board rotated, and she uh, just kept avoiding the spade instead of guaranteeing herself to grab it. And she just avoided it constantly, and fell so far behind because we just kept rotating the board. Because it's like, haha, it's funny, Jessica can't get the spade. We just eliminated the higher rank uh, computer. Like, she got beaten by slime. It was that bad. Just, I don't know what was going on with her AI, but she just decided for no reason to keep avoiding the one suit that she needed for a promotion. She could have easily got it several times, but she just went the long way around. And then the board just got rotated, so the spade just moved out of her path and she couldn't get it. He's trying to beat me to the heart as well? Jeez. Everyone wants to get that heart. And who can blame them? It forces your opponents to have to spend longer going around the board. Right, need a big roll, please. Yes. That is my heart. Okay, I really love this shop now. This shop didn't pay off anywhere near as much for the other person who had it. It was Junior who had it on around between my friend and I. And Junior had free in that district, never invested in them, no one just landed on that one. Yeah, I'm so glad I stole that. Dragon Lord getting that heart would have just ruined us. Oh dear. Well, Toad's out the game. His luck has finally run out. Okay, that's mine now. Although that 96 will probably get bought out, so I need to be careful. How much do I have to crash it by? Okay, 83 is still enough to do a decent investment. And who knows, if I get lucky, uh, I won't, but uh, if Dragon Lord gets unlucky, he might pay me something. Kirill's heading over here as well. I don't even know what Kirill's been cooking this round, to be fair. Oh, okay. He's going there instead, so he doesn't have to pay me. I see how it is. Although the only pro- well, there's two unknown shops, but the only property he has there is the circus town. And maybe he will just roll a two and then decide to leave straight away. Okay, absolutely protecting this one, and that's the only investment I'm going to do here for now. 
because I don't want it being bought back out. Although the balloon could just get bought back out instead, like Patty did with the checkpoint last game. Oh yeah, but I just want to say one thing as well. I do like this game still, as much as it does frustrate me. There are instant... It's a luck-based game, so of course you're going to get frustrated at some point. Oh, we landed on something. Ooh, the big one, thank you. But then you get moments like this, where luck is heavily on your side, and you actually get a round where things go well for you, you make sales, you get really expensive properties that players land on, and it's nice when it happens, but you got to remember this game is, compl is mostly luck. You're not going to get lucky every single round. It's physically impossible, and there are rounds that are going to be absolutely horrible for you. So, it's inevitable that anyone who plays a game that is luck-based like this will get frustrated. Okay, and there are some boards I did make a pretty bad misplay. And there are some boards that I lost because I got unlucky. But at the end of the day, I still really enjoy this game, and if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't be still doing this playthrough. But I did have to take a break at some point because I just got a bit fed up of all the horrible luck. Don't I have a... Sh yeah, I have a weak shot here where Toad has to, so let's protect this. But the thing to remember about this game is it takes a long time to understand mostly how it works. And I try to explain the best that I can, which is why I'm not doing these boards blind. And I'm being as honest as I can. If I say that I have to reset around, I'm making it known that I had to reset around. But the only time I tend to reset around is when it goes horribly wrong at the beginning of the game. And basically what I mean is I just have an absolutely nightmare start where I have to pay way too much early game, fall way behind, and there's no chance of me catching up. Because once you fall behind at the beginning of the game, it's it's practically impossible. I was trying to say virtually, but I said practically. So it's practically impossible to catch back up. So my advice to anyone as well, especially if you're trying to clear a board, if you've got a really bad start, you don't have any properties to work with, and the only way you're going to win is playing the freeloading game, the odds are you should just reset that round and start again. It will save you time, you won't have to spend an hour and a half playing a round that you're not going to win, or that you're not going to clear the board. Ooh, there's a heart now on the island, so if I can go on there, I will. But you just got to remember as well. It doesn't matter how good you are at this game, it doesn't matter if you are literally the best Fortune Street player ever, you are inevitably going to have a round where things just don't go your way. It, it's just how it works. And best thing to do, if the game, if you have just a bunch of bad rounds in a row and the game's just really frustrating, you just take a break. You'll love yourself after you come back. Wow, my promotions are actually pretty big. I'm just going to renovate that balloon next turn, I think. Because there's no point in it being a balloon. The, the, the scary thing is, I could still get that 290. But I will say, I do have a bit of an advantage when it comes to this game, because I know how the computer players work. Like, if you add custom characters into the game, it will make it way more difficult for me to win. I, f I know that people have tried making custom computer players, but it's very difficult. Because you've got to model them, you've got to program their mechanics. You've got to make it so if they have anything unique, you've got to do more advanced coding. You get the picture. I don't really need to skip the spade, actually. I'm just gonna go here. Oh, I forgot to renovate. Oh, well. I needed to protect this one next, anyways. It's fine. I just gotta remember to renovate next turn. Dragon Lord can't get to the bank quick enough, anyways. We're we gonna go to the island. No, I would have if I was him. Yeah. 
I'm hoping that Toad will be nice enough to give me some money when he goes to that section of the board. Oh, well, Dragonlord finally gets to invest. And he made the right choice, because I would have bought that out if I could. Just because it's an S-ranked computer. I don't usually break up districts of three, but if it's a high-ranking computer player or someone who's a threat, I will most likely do it. I actually feel kind of sorry for Toad for once, but he has been very lucky the last few rounds that I've played against him, so at the end of the day, it's kind of two ways. Because this is genuinely the first round I've played with Toad where he's been somewhat unlucky. Oh, well, I'm going to the island, no questions asked. Because I just want to get the heart without having to worry about it. I guarantee you if I do invest in that 61, no one is ever landing on there ever again. I'm honestly tempted as well to buy out that 8 shop of Dragon Lords up there just so he has no chance of investing when he gets to that side of the board. But it's not really worth it actually. Especially because he's only got one more shop in there he can max out until he buys out Kirill's Circus Tent or his other property. Or he buys out my one in District C. Okay, that works really nicely. I'm just going to grab this and leave straight away because I could head back to the right side of the board and potentially get that spade and therefore be able to skip the entire left side of the board. I don't like that they keep going this way though, especially because Dragonlords 800 has technically been landed on twice, although one time it was closed. Because the, the two C ranks are out of the picture. They don't have a District of Free to work with, they don't have any way of making money as quickly as myself and Dragonlord. I'm in the strongest position because I have that good District at the bottom. But if Dragonlord does buy out one of those two shops of Kirill's, then Dragonlord as well will have a good section to work with, but he will have to sell a lot of his stock to do this. And I reckon that Dragonlord will also start stock diving and freeloading off me the second he can, but I have made the stock price very expensive, so it would be very difficult for him to actually buy stock in there. That district is pretty much washed. No one is doing anything with that unless someone has to sell a shop or they choose to sell a shop and then I get two in there. Because I have the 100. Okay, Toad's heading to my section. If I roll a three, I might actually go up to the left and take a risk just so I don't have to close my stuff. I don't really want to close my stuff when there's uh, someone heading there. Okay, six is fine more in here, so drag the well, I can only put 20 in there. Uh, sure, I'll grab the spade. Great, my talent is back. I sure love my talent of finding the worst venture card in the game. And again, terrible moment, because it's just gonna lower my stock. That shop is worth two gold. What a great shop. Oh, and of course, as soon as I renovate the vacant lot, so I've just got to renovate it back, and then renovate it again, because I just lost value on it, so there's no point in that being a three-star shop. I love losing 1,200 net worth to a terrible venture card that really shouldn't have been added in the game in the first place. No, I'm kidding. There's a reason why that one exists. No, the game wouldn't be the same without 13. As much as I hate the card, because I always seem to find it. Case in point, I found it again. But it exists for a reason. Oh yes, I obviously chose to lower all of my shops by 13% on purpose, Toad. I obviously chose to get the worst venture card in the game. 
and I chose to get it late game as well, so I would lose even more money than I would of early game. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do, just so you would lose a small amount of money compared to the 1,000 that I lost. Okay, can no one go down there anymore, please? There's kind of a 1,000 shop there now. Like, guys, please use common sense. There's no reason to go down there at the moment, actually. There's no reason to go to my section, either. Oh, of course. Let's skip the entire district and land on the one that isn't owned. Thanks, game. Right, first of all, let's just fix this. Yeah, good luck freeloading here now, Dragon Lord. You're welcome to try, but you're not going to do very well. If he does freeload, I'll just sell all the stock. No point in holding on to it. I've got another district I could go to as well, and I'm going to get a promotion as long as I don't get warped. I'm not surprised he did that. Yeah, card 13, though, is just really annoying how I, I... I genuinely have a talent for finding that card. It's not even funny. Another talent of mine was finding card 43 all the time, which is the second worst venture card you can get in late game because you have a lot of stock at that point. Oh, okay. Have fun there, Toad. Sadly, Kirill's going to steal the heart for next time, but it doesn't matter because I can just go somewhere else and get it. Okay, that's kind of a trap. That was the worst thing I could have rolled, actually, so that was a really bad roll. I actually kind of want Dragon Lord to freeload on that district just because it would give me more money and then I can just sell it straight away. Oh, you should have gone down, Kirill. You should have just paid me a grand. Just out of your kindness of your heart. Okay. Well, Dragon Lord should logically get to the bank this turn. Oh, okay. I guess he doesn't want a promotion anymore. Works for me, I guess. Is this what's going to happen now? The Dragon or Dragon Lord's just not going to go to the right side of the board because I've made it too expensive. That's kind of funny. Because that means no one will ever get a promotion. Other than me, if I just force them to go... Or they'll just... No, they're going to abuse the warp is what will happen. And then they'll try to get the green one so they can just, you know, go to the bank. But the chance of that happening is so very low. not really anything that expensive on the left side of the board, where they will just circle. And if that happens, I'll just buy out the shop in District F, so I have another district over there, and then I have one on each side of the board, money will just roll in. Okay, I'm fine with it. And I get a commission for that, actually, so that's pretty cool. Thank you for going left toad and not being a muppet. Because the last thing I need are computer players blatantly throwing the game. Oh, come on, game. You can give me some better rolls than that. I am kind of hoping that this board finishes soon rather than later. Because I would like to do that testing thing before everyone else wakes up and then no one else can get on the server. I don't know how it works. I'm worried that my my time might have started because I just booted it up to see if it worked. It just let me on. I was just trying to do the update to install the launcher and then it just put me on the game and I'm like, oh, okay. But I didn't want to do it now. 
because there would be no one online as it was literally 9 in the morning UK time and most of the player base is American. Okay, well he's pretty much done with that district now, so... I don't see that going up anytime soon, unless he buys out. But if I can stop them getting a promotion, then that would be very good. We're still landing on that one, which is cool. Okay, can I get a better number this turn? Okay, that's another. That two gold shop is just awful. That's the lowest price shop I think I've seen the whole playthrough. But that one's that is a terrible shop if that's max. Okay, let's just make it even harder for them to get over here now. Because now there's a 2,424 that will just prevent them going this way. The more I can prevent them going, the better. Because if I just have complete control over half the board, they're never going to get their promotions without it taking half the game. Okay, and Kirill avoided that area as well. I think they're just going to circle that area for the rest of the game now. If that happens, I just have to slowly get my promotion, and then I win. Yeah, they're, they're trying to get to the bank, but their AI is telling them to avoid going to the right. Okay, so they have to land directly on the bank, actually, so that's a bit higher. It's a case in point, Toad just did it first try. Still got his cheating powers in him, I see. But it matters not. If I am the only one who's going to the right side of the board, they're not going to be able to get the diamond or spade. Or not spade. I always going to say. Okay, that's being bought out. I don't want to land on this again late game. Then I'll just uh, sell all the stock in District H. Yeah, it's going to be four gold now. Oh, it's five. Okay. What a great shop. Not even worth investing in that district, other than to just renovate the tax office. Oh, okay. Lucky you. Okay, unless Dragon Lord rolls a free, he's not going to the right side of the board, I reckon. Yep, their AI is broken. That's fine with me. That means uh, I pretty much just got to keep getting promotions and I win. Because they just avoid the bank for the rest of the game. No promotion. No way of being able to buy stock. No way of being able to make progress. And I'm hoping that they'll also avoid Dragon Lord's district. So if they just circle that same part of the board, I can just buy out one of the two shops in District F and then invest in it. Hey look guys, my shops are closed, you should totally go to the right side of the board. Oh really? Right as I sell all my stock, every time. move on another space, that's funny. That's like one of the biggest troll cards in the whole deck, just move on one more space when you landed on a venture suit, or a venture space. Oh, he can still invest in there. Well, not anymore. I just gotta hope that Toad and Kirill don't throw the game by going down to that area, because that's the only way that I could be beaten. Toad's going to purchase the last shop on the board. Actually, no, there's another one. He's going to get free in the district, actually. He's going to have a district to work with. There's now threatening properties over there for me. Oh, no. Is he going to make a comeback? Oh, cool. I rolled five. That's another investment for me. 
Although, how much can I even buy in that district now? Wow, that promotion is a lot more than I thought it would be. Oh, I can put 99 in there. Okay, we'll continue investing in this district then. Doesn't matter, because no one's landing on these, mind you, but it gives me more money. There's now 2,600 over there that they won't ever go to because it's too expensive. If I roll a 1, I'm just going to buy that shop out from Kirill because it gives me free there and people are going to go that way now. Dragon Lord is still going in a circle. For no reason. I wonder if Toad will do the same thing or if ever he's going to actually try and get the heart. Okay, I like this. Another investment. This one's the cheapest one. That's funny. 2,922. That's the only issue with this board that I have, is that you can just circle it for all eternity. And just never have a reason to go to one side of the board. But it works for me, because if they're never going to promote, or they're never going to make any progress, the only one who has a chance of winning is going to be me. And there we go. He finally, he finally abused... He finally abused going in a circle until the game gave him what he wanted. Where's he putting his stock, though? In Toad's District. Okay. Fair enough. I guess he's realised that mine is just too expensive to buy in there at the moment. Yeah, and Toad's avoiding the bottom right as well. I think Toad is the only one who's actually going to stand a chance to me because I have to go over there if I want the suit. Okay, I'm just going to bail out of District H and I'm going to start investing somewhere else, I think. Because I don't like investing when I have less than a... 75 stocks. So I think the plan is I try to go for District J next, and then I renovate the, uh, the tax office. Because no one's ever going to land on that. And this way I can just, you know, make another small profit, even though those shops over there are absolutely terrible. And the thing is, even though I don't have the greatest shops on that circle, I still have properties, so I can, you know, actually make money. Oh, Toad's heading over here. Interesting. I didn't think anyone would ever go over here again. I guess he knows that next turn he's landing on the wall. Or he's rolling a 1 or a 3, and then he's going to roll a big number to skip it next turn. That's my only logical thing I can think of why he would go over there. Okay, I'm fine with this. I'm hoping that Kirill rolls at least a 3 so I can go get the heart. Although the problem is I have no stock so I can't really invest. Thank you, Kirill. That means I get the heart for sure. Unless I get warped. What is he talking about? I don't understand what Dragon Lord talks about half the time. Oh, please don't be round the blocks. I don't need him getting lucky sevens again. I would start of gold. That's fine. I'm surprised there's actually a space with my head on it on this. Oh, well, that's pointless. Whoever it goes to, that's only like 150 gold. Well, thank you, I guess. Oh, cool. Never mind, Toad actually landed on something. Thank you, that's going to end the game quicker. 
still positive. Everyone should be more like Toad. Lands on a terrible space is still positive. Oh, works for me. I could buy something out. But I'm just going to continue investing. And I don't have any stock, but might as well just go here. I only need 5,000 more to win, and I don't really need to buy anything out. Okay, we'll do this one just because Dragon Lord can land on it. And there's no reason to be buying stock there. Uh, I guess I just buy more stock in District H again. Right, that shop exists. I just realised Dragon Lord can't win now that Toad had to pay me that much money, because now Toad's pretty much out of the game. Okay, he honestly deserves that after the last roll that he had. He's got it. Oh my god, he has to get the heart. Well, we just put it straight back. I still have way more capital here than I do anywhere else. And we'll continue investing here, because why not? Still got three shops I can put 999 in, that's insane. There's another 1000 I just gained. In fact, I could win the game if I get back to the bank. The question, Lord, what's Dra the question is, what's Dragon Lord going to do when he has to go to the right side of the board? Is he just going to abuse the island? That's what I reckon he'll do, actually. Toad is so far behind, though. My friend will not enjoy watching this round. I have no idea how much he even has left in stock. If he lands on my tax office, he might have to sell a shop. Oh, he is very lucky. He's down to 60. Jeez. Toad is not having a good round anymore. Sadly, I can't buy his property out, but it's fine. Is that really my cheapest one? Yes, it is. Pretty sure I win as soon as I get to the bank with my promotion. Skip Dragon Lords. Good, uh, good choice. Okay, well, Toad's obviously going to win this, unless Kirill picks the one that wins. Apparently, the two is the one that's going to win. Uh, logically, Toad should win this because his AI is way behind, and usually the AI cheats when they're on the verge of going bankrupt, or they're way behind everyone else. So I'll be very surprised if I win this because I picked last. Yeah, Toad's winning for sure. Unless Kirill. Actually, no, Kirill picked first, so Kirill could win. Nope, Toad won. But not surprised. But it's fine. I'd rather he won than someone who's, you know, not really far behind. So that means he won't have to sell a property anymore. Well, he could. He still needs the heart. Okay, I'm fine with being able to continue investing. Okay, that one's pretty much done, so... 
I don't even know if I have to crash the stock, actually, because it's, yeah, it's literally 94 per gold, so I don't even have to crash it anymore. Uh, I'm afraid you are, Toad. You don't need to be pessimistic. It's kind of obvious I landed on the tax office. Poor Toad. He cannot catch a break. If I land on the tax office, I've got the target, actually. And he's still being positive. <laughs> Even though he's... Well, he was being pessimistic just a moment ago, then again. Okay, this one is... Seven hundred and sixty. Hundred and two per stock. That means unless I pay more than a thousand, I won't ever have to crash that district again. Okay, well, Dragonlord and Kirill have now got the very difficult task of, uh, let's go to the bank. Okay, that's the least, that is the least that he deserves. <laughs> he just gained two grand from that. Apparently I've got the target, which is good, because last time I didn't get to hear what the target music was for this. Yes, I do, just barely. I would like to hear what the music is. It's just the same. The Final Fantasy one, okay. Even Toad is blocking me. What well, doesn't matter? I could go back under the target, but it really doesn't matter because as soon as I get back to the bank, I win because I've got the promotion ready. Oof, no promotion for you. Try again. If I was Kirill, I would have gone over there, though, because he could have stolen second place from the Dragon Lord. And that's game. Well, that went well. Had my fair shares of ups and downs, getting 13 at a really bad time, but... Stalling Dragonlord, for the most part, honestly worked in my favour. And Toad stopped cheating for the first time. Right, I should get at least gold in stock supremo. Everyone got something.
Yeah, it was pretty much a straightforward match. Well, that was Aleph Guard Special Edition. Let's see what is next, although I'm pretty sure it's a gimmick baseboard that I played with my friend fairly recently, because I remember it being close to Aleph Guard on the... the list. Look how far I have to scroll now just to see which board is next. Midgar, yes, it is the gimmick base. It's literally the one where Jessica threw. Okay, well, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next.